How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Musa here with another video about DDR5. Are you ready for it fam bam? Are you ready for some next gen PC info? I mean, come on. What makes you more excited than hearing some PC specs? Especially when it comes to memory modules. I got some very, very juicy information about it as we are stepping a little bit closer for the official release of DDR5. But first, if you find this information very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already part of the big wonderful fan bam and you love talking about PC and tech stuff, make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button for more. Let's dig right into it. DDR5 is supposed to be a very large leap from DDR4. We did have DDR4 for some time now. Do you know the very first time DDR4 was released was in quarter two of 2014. Now tell me that's been around for a little while, especially when it comes to the tech world. Many different companies have been trying to create the very first DDR5 memory module. Of course, you know the bigger ones such as Micron, you have Samsung, and you got SK Hynix all trying to figure it out. But there is one other company that claims that they can get some really amazing speeds. Other than the most major memory manufacturers, there is one unknown company that came out of the blue that claims that they can get speeds of up to 10,000 megahertz. Have you guys ever heard of Netech technology? Don't feel too bad. I have never heard of them either. But of course, it is very questionable because it is just a claim and I would love to see some actual benchmarks, wouldn't you? But wait till you get a load of this. Nettech Technology claims that they can get these speeds up to 10,000 megahertz. Nettech also claims that they will be using Micron 1Z nanometer DRAM process nodes to be able to run 404040 sub timing. When Micron was just trying late of 2020, they were not able to get those kind of speed. But instead, Micron was pushing speeds up to 6400 megahertz, which means Nettech was able to engineer even higher speeds than Micron. Fam Bam, would you try to rather see the benchmarks first? Better see it to believe it, right? So would you try Nettech technology in your PC build? Let me know in the comments down below. But on a side note of things, there is another DDR5 company out there, a well-known gaming memory module company named Galax, which also has DDR5 well on their way. If you guys never heard of Galax, they are actually memory modules specifically built for gaming rigs. So if you're a gamer, this is perfect for you. If you've never seen them before, make sure you check them out. They have some of the best RAM you can get for your PC. Galax will also be using the same 1Z nanometer memory modules from Micron to create their RAM. So soon we're gonna see some fresh DDR5 specifically made for gaming. Galax has not really specified exactly where they are on their project. Currently, one of the fastest memory modules that they do have for DDR4 is up to 5,000 megahertz. This will make it very interesting because DDR5 is supposed to dissipate a lot more heat. In fact, it's supposed to have accept lower voltage and be able to process higher data processing. DDR5's more than likely most common speed is going to be 4,800 megahertz. What I'm most curious about, if Galax were able to pick up the kind of speed that Netec technology claimed. None of them exactly mention how much room that they have for their DDR5 modules, but there is one company that did. Wait till you hear this. Samsung claims that they have up to 512 gigabytes of random access memory. That is someone's SSD right there. 512 gigabytes. You can install Windows 10 onto it. Samsung's most current memory module that they do have for DDR4 is up to 128 gigabytes. This shows you exactly how much of a change that we are in for for next generation PCs. Of course, Samsung's VP, Song Su Sun, had mentioned something about this claim. By bringing this type of process and innovation of DRAM manufacturing, we are able to offer our customers high performance, yet energy efficient memory solutions 
to power the computers needed for medical research, financial markets, autonomous driving, smart cities, and beyond. So that kind of does give you a little hint because of that kind of speed, that is way above what Samsung originally mentioned about their DDR5, which was supposedly topped out at 7,200 megabytes per second. Couldn't mean that even Samsung is kind of backing NetTech Technologies claim of that kind of speed. Take a look at this. So fam bam, I got this very Samsung official article right here. And if you're very interested to take a look at it, make sure you check it out in the description box down below. I'll make sure not to bore you with all the details, but I'm just gonna go over some of the key highlights because this is official news from Samsung. And of course, this is all for advanced computing. So this kind of memory module is mostly meant for supercomputing or cloud computing or such high intensive data networking such as server use. They are able to get 512 gigabytes capacity DDR5 modules made possible by eight layer TSV structure and HKMG material reduces power by 13% while doubling the speed of DDR4, which is a really amazing feat. On top of it, they're able to use this HKMG, which is high K metal gate. That is really their, what Samsung claims is their key process in making a very, and the new DDR5 will be capable of orchestrating the most extreme compute hungry, high bandwidth workloads and supercomputing, artificial intelligence and machine learning, as well as data analytics applications. And because they use the HKMG technology, they've been traditionally used in logic semiconductors. With continued scaling down on DRAM structures, the insulation layer has thin, leading to higher leakage current. By replacing the insulator with HKMG material, Samsung's DDR5 will be able to reduce leakage and reach new heights in performance. The new memory will be approximately 13% less powerful, making it especially suitable for data centers where energy efficiency has become increasingly critical. So can you imagine it will be able to pick up that much speed without using more power, which typically is always, you'll always have more power because of higher voltage and they're able to reduce the voltage while getting more higher power. And this really shows that next generation is almost here. So because these chipsets are stacked, you can see this one side is 256 and I'm sure on the other side, it's about 256, I would imagine as well, which will bring you your 512 gigabytes memory modules. And here's another look of it right here. And you can just see how amazing this chipset is. As you can see, this is the front side of it. And of course, here is the back side of it. If you found this video very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy content just like this and you love to hear and talk about PC stuff, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And make sure you don't forget to hit that notification bell. For all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here as it is the same for TikTok and IG. And fam bam, guys, are you excited for DDR5? The real question is, is the world ready for DDR5? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo, signing out.